The victim in the 2016 sexual assault here is now a student out of state. But at the time, she was here on academic and athletic scholarships. She played on the women's lacrosse team. According to the suit, she was attending a party at the Lambda Chi Alpha Fraternity House, which was already barred from serving alcohol because of an earlier problem, but served alcohol anyway. At one point, the victim left the house and headed home. A while later, she got word that one of her friends was here on a couch, drunk, and needed help getting home. She came back. It's at that point that the football player allegedly lured her up to his room and then raped her. They would later learn that same football player had already been accused of raping a female volleyball player multiple times. The fact that this male student athlete had already committed acts of sexual violence on campus made the attack on my client foreseeable and the university was on notice that they had a problem on campus and instead of dealing with it they ignored that problem and then things snowballed from there. The suit says Butler's Title IX office which would deal with complaints or discrimination against female athletes never opened an investigation of those first allegations. In a written statement, Butler said, quote, Butler University takes its obligations under Title IX very seriously, including in this case, in which the university thoroughly investigated the allegations and expelled the student after completing the investigation and hearing process. Butler is committed to providing safe and secure environment to all members of the campus community. In addition to the university, they are also suing the national fraternity. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.